हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन माय लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस पॉलीमर्स नाउ टुडे वी विल डिस्कस केमिस्ट्री इन एवरीडे लाइफ वी डोंट हैव टू डू दीज टॉपिक्स दीज आर नॉट इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड यू विल नॉट गेट एनी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हेयर वॉट आर एंटासिड्स गिव एग्जाम्पल्स so you will find out the definition over here example is ranitidine this is very important example don't write semetidine this is antihistamine drug antihistamine drugs are different from antacids antacids don't treat ulcers so don't write they treat ulcers they only maintain the ph of the stomach these structures are not important you can leave them another important question is tranquilizers what are tranquilizers explain with the help of example so this is the exact definition of tranquilizers they treat stress and mild or severe mental diseases in the case of anxiety stress and irritability they do not uh, they are not used as sleeping pills so don't write they are sleeping pills another important question is antidepressant so this is the exact definition of antidepressant try to use words which is written in your ncert book equinel is very good example of tranquilizer you can also get the question give difference between tranquilizer and antidepressant tranquilizer is also used as antidepressant also used but it is not antidepressant <clears throat> next what are analgesics this is the exact definition it reduce or abolish pain without causing impairment of consciousness mental confusion analgesics are of two type non narcotic and narcotic so you can get a question give difference between non narcotic and narcotic analgesics next antibiotics what are antibiotics and also memorize at least two examples of it you can even write down penicillin it is also an antibiotic you can leave all these things you will never get any question from this another important question give difference between broad spectrum antibiotic and narrow spectrum antibiotic you can also get a question in the form of short note write short note on broad spectrum or write short note on narrow spectrum antibiotics broad spectrum antibiotics are those which work on the wide range of gram positive and gram negative bacteria whereas narrow spectrum can only work either of them only learn the underlined part nothing else leave all the other parts now antiseptic and disinfectant from this topic you may get a question give difference between antiseptic and disinfectant this is very important question 
antiseptics are mainly uh, used on living tissues whereas disinfectant are used on floor that means non living tissues non living cells also memorize example of both of them you may also get one markers from these the first important question of one marker is name the compound with antiseptic properties in soap the answer is bethionyl another question give constituents of detol so you have to memorize the constituent of detol next what is tincture iodine you have to memorize the percentage of alcohol in this percentage of alcohol as well as iodine okay high percentage of phenol can only be used as disinfectant and low percentage of phenol can also be used in antiseptic next anti fertility drug you may get a question on writing a short note on anti uh, anti fertility fertility drug and the exact answer is this memorize these two examples because sometime you get question only on examples next artificial sweetening agents memorize four examples aspartame saccharin sucralose and allantoin out of this saccharin uh, is the oldest one and why do we use artificial sweetener in instead of natural sweeteners because they are 550 times more sweet than cane sugar they can be excreted out from the body through urine unchanged they are entirely inert and harmless why is saccharin considered to be the better sweetening agent you can write down the same answer why is uh, why is the use of aspartame limited to cold food because uh, at high temperature or cooking temperature it get decompose or it is unstable the meaning of both is same why do we require artificial sweetening agent the answer is same as we have discussed before they are sweeter than cane sugar they can and they are inert they do not react in any part of the body soaps are not very important you can leave soap this part is also not important this is important why do soaps not work in hard water you have also learned this answer in 10th class this part is important and you will get a question on difference only difference between an ionic and cationic detergent and difference between ionic and non ionic detergent also memorize uh, example one example on each type that's it i have referred ncert for this uh, chapter and if you have any doubt please leave it on comment section